I'm just getting done with the rest of this repair and it turned out really nice. Now I'm done with the Super Glue Control Ultra Gel and I think here's the key. If you get a container like this, put the cap back on and keep it stored in the upright position. Try not to get it laying down or upside down because everything's going to flow up this way. It's going to clog up your, your nozzle and it might dry from here all the way down. So I'm hoping storing it like this, maybe just the small tip is clogged or hopefully it can be pushed down or if you have a needle or something, after a couple minutes you can clean out the tip as it's drying, let's say. And then next time you need it, your tip's going to still be very small. Worst case scenario, you have to cut just the very end of the tip off to get it free flowing again. Okay. And I don't think I have a needle with me. I mean, I do have, I do have my scratch all. I guess I could try to do that, but it's, it's too big. It's really too big for that. Okay. I need a needle or a very small safety pin, something like that, to clean that down. But I'm going to store it in the upright position. And this one, granted, this one was really old. And I think at the end, I stored it sideways or upside down or something. That's why the whole arm of it, the whole nozzle was, was dry. Okay. All right. Now, all I have to do with that is put it back up take a quick look at it everything looks pretty good if anything there's just one little spot over on the, the arm that that I could hit and it really looks to be in pretty good shape So, I can go ahead and put that back up now, and it's fixed, okay? Be mindful of these little rope trim on the sides, because even though the ceiling fan blade is 10 years old, I can make it last a while longer by just being careful with it and fixing anything when it gets loose. Okay. There's a tip for you. I, I put the screw in first and then I can hold the whole thing upside down and line her up. And it seems to seems to be a little bit easier than trying to hold it and do it any other way. Make sure you get them snug. And since I'm up here, I'm going to go ahead and check the other ones. I've got a little bit of a turn in a couple blades already. You leave it too long, and when these screws start getting loose, it starts flapping this up and down, and then your ceiling fan will start wobbling, and your blade could fall down. I've actually seen one of these blades fall before, and I couldn't find both screws, not on this ceiling fan, but one kind of like this. Doesn't take much, you, you know. I just did a little bit of maintenance on that, nice and easy to do. Get this turned back on. Before, when I came in this room, I, I had it on just like this, and I could see the rope trim that was loose just dangling with it going this fast. Now, there's nothing there because it's fixed.
Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. Speaking of more videos, what am I going to do next? I got a toilet here, and I don't know if you were watching before, but this whole toilet is loose. Somebody had caulked it, and it's it's loose. This is a 10-year-old toilet. Look at that. And the reason why I first noticed it is because if you get on the toilet and move it, see there? I'm moving it right off, and that's another thing. They didn't have it shimmed properly, and when you get a rough floor, you've got to have it adjusted properly when you first install it to have it tight, or it could start loosening up. Now that's my next project. I've got to take that all apart, and I'm going to use a waxless seal. If you want to keep watching my videos, I'll show you how to do it. So I still have to do this, but today, what have I done so far? I fixed a dripping sink, saved you over $125. I fixed a four hour timer over there, saved you probably another $125 on a four hour timer for an air conditioner. What else did I do? I fixed a sagging door, probably saved you another $100, at least $100 there. Showed you how to fix two towel bars with two 35 cent items. Had you not had those, you might have had to replace these for another $60, $70 and some grief on cutting and fixing them and lining them up exactly where these were or maybe your other trim is not the same as this or the style's not the same, you're not too happy and, and, and now you're like, oh brother, now it doesn't match the same thing that my my toilet has and my toilet paper or whatever. So I fixed and showed you how to do that too. Man, I'm showing you all kinds of things. You just keep watching my channel. Boy, with just those four things that I've showed you so far on how to fix, I've been here maybe, oh, I don't know, two and a half hours, and I saved you at least, I'm gonna guess, maybe close to $400. So in my two hours, two and a half hours, what, I could have, I, I might have made $200 an hour, pretty close. So save that money. You can start saving that money too and start buying a few more tools that you might need for different projects. Keep watching my YouTube channel and I'll help you save even more. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.